Hi guys, Moz here from Moz 6510 Models. We are a channel dedicated to help you become a better scale modeler. Tonight, kit review. I bought this about two months ago. It's been on my desk. I haven't looked at it until today. I was recommended it by Baggies TMD on his uh, YouTube channel. He has one and he uses it all the time for painting his planes with. So I decided to buy one. I had it on the desk and under another box I found it today so I thought I'll do a bit of a kit review. It comes flat packed obviously and you have to download the instructions if you need them online. So you go to the website which is ebmahobby.co.uk and then it's a two page uh, spread really on how to put it together. It shouldn't be too difficult, I doubt it will be that difficult. But um, the introduction is it's made from 3mm MDF. It's part, it's, uh, the parts are cut by laser cutter. So you will get some smoke marks on the surface of the wood. There's some asymmetrical parts which you can remove the smoke marks if you wish. But I don't really think so because at the end of the day, they're going to get covered in paint. They recommend to dry fit components prior to gluing. Um, is recommended, i.e. compulsory. So you've got to dry fit the parts first before you start gluing. I've got myself me uh, no more nails with adhesive. Apparently it uh, is weatherproof and dries clear. It sounds a bit daft, but you know, you will be painting and there will be spills. There will be a bit of water if you use water and stuff, you know, because you can use it for, de for decals as well. So I recommend using the weatherproof stuff. Um, so it gives really good shakes. I haven't used this for a very long time because I don't, I bought this originally for doing canopies with, but I tend to these days use the um, micro scale, micro crystal clear. That's what I use at the moment. So let's have a look inside the packet. What you basically get is five bits of wood or MDF. And as you can see, it's all been pre-cut. And see this side, you can see where the smoke marks are on that side. It's not too bad, but you know, basically you can push them out. So you, with your finger, you, you try and push them out. If, they, if they're a little bit stuck, give them a bit of a wiggle. They will need a clean anyway. So that isn't quite coming out, is it? Just give it a wiggle. There you go. It's like just basically like a sprue, really. Out they come. Oh dear, I've broken that one. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I haven't broken. Basically, it's like it's on sprues, isn't it? So you've got to give it a bit of a, a wiggle to get them out. There they go. Come on. There you go. There's two. There's three. And then the final piece here. Try to get them out. Ah. Cool quite low tolerance look at that look how thin that is isn't that amazing how laser works put to one side so we've got the four which i assume is one two three four and then you've got your your pieces here for your ends three ends and then these i think these are fuselage and these are wings you've got different sizes but let's put the actual box together Obviously, it says it's dry fit. I'm just going to quickly look for them just make sure there's anything in here that I need to take off. So, that little piece there will need to be removed. So, we'll get the old sanding stick. Give it a bit of a trim off. That's it. Make sure it's all nice. There, there's a little bit there. Looking good here. There's one. Let's have a look how it works. So, Instructions out so that we know what we're doing. Um, just looking exactly the same, aren't they? So you got ah uh, these two, as you can see, they match up. You've got the gap in the middle there, so it looks like. Uh, they basically fit this way. So one goes in there like so. Oh, they slip in lovely. So got... Let's do it this way. So that one fits in there like so. They've got the, the late logo there. So that one fits in there. Perfect. And then you have these going down the side. So I presume that goes in there. Lift them up a little bit. Fits in there. And the same with this side. I'm going to put the... That one, that side, in he goes. Perfect. So that fits in nice. 
And then this way as well. Up he goes inside. And then down. Pretty flat there. And I assume these just fit in at the base. There's one there. One at the side. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And then we'll flip him around and put him in there. Like a jigsaw, man. Like a jigsaw. Straight in. Perfect. And there it is. It's all done. You know, I've got to think, do I really want to glue it? But I suppose I better for the sake of argument. So we just take these off. And then I need a little tin. So we'll grab a tin, glue in there. Give him a quick stir. Right there. Then we'll go along the edge. Then what I'll do is I'll do the actual edge as well. So. That's pretty much it. We'll do the edges. So that one there. Do the edges here. Which was all pretty well done. Push that in there. And down. Obviously it's going to need a bit of clamping. Whoops. Like that. Same on this brun here. <laughs> So I'm not too worried about this because obviously he goes, that's in, so that's in, that's in. So what I'm going to do now is you turn him over, make him force down, some baby wipe stuff, just wipe off any excess glue underneath. And then what I am going to do, actually that's pretty well done actually him in a little bit is just go along this edge here make a short sure. everywhere gets a good coating in the gap just paint a little bit of the PVA on you could even paint this or give it a quick varnish there you go. And I think that's pretty much done. And so all we got to do now is leave that to dry. So now it's dry. I'm really happy with how it looks. It's all, it's pretty sturdy. It's not going to move very far. Um, what comes next is these pieces here. So on the instructions, it clearly says to you on the instructions that the F are in Tended for fuselage and W for wings. So these will just pop out like so. So you've got the two large ones. You see that you've got different different sizes. Get the other ones out. Just a little bit of cleanup needed. Like so. And then you adjust them for wherever you want. Now the wings you've got um one two three four five six so there's there's um two small two medium two large and you basically use them to fit whichever vehicle you have take these out so there you go so let's have a look then so let's just find a plane so let, let's just have a little play with it so obviously um the way it's designed 
just looking at it so these are wings so you've got your three sizes of wing there's your fuselage one so in theory if you put the the wing here so you've got big wings one two to there we'll just put these in there's there's the wings if you put that there and then turn it around you could do work painting like here in the seat maybe i need to up that a little bit let's just move that one out move that one up to here use a bit of a taller one there you go and in theory you could work on it there's a little bit of a slide there but it does say in the instructions to put some masking tape on it but what i would recommend is buying yourself if you can from a craft shop um this stuff here which is a uh, foam so what you could do is take these out, just get some, uh, fold it over. Then what we'll do is we'll cut that there. If we cut that down to there, which is cool. I'm just uh, about that much, I reckon. Just give it a little crack there, a little crack there. So let's see where it goes. One to there, one to there. Just put them across. Get two of them. Down to there, then down to that. So you've got two squares worth. And then you could easily fold these over like so. And then with some masking tape, Just go around and it will give you a little bit more protection. I need the bigger wing one, where's that? No, he, there he is there. Put that over there. And then plug him back in there. That's not going to move. That's pretty secure on there, believe it or not. That's quite secure. Let's get a bit for this one as well. There we go. Plug him in there. And that isn't going anywhere. That is not going anywhere whatsoever. That is pretty good. So you can do your work, bit on the side. Uh, obviously, you know, I still think 1 to 48 scale is a better better mix but you could if you need to you could turn it around well maybe you can't <laughs> um oh, of course just must have broken that off there um but yeah there are means and ways of doing it i suppose yeah but i'm pretty so if you wanted to do your decals this would be perfect because you could just hold it and just push and do what you need to but putting this sort of like foam stuff over it this is the stuff you get on your tvs that's all it is you know when they protect your tvs that's all it is if you did that with it it'll be pretty cool um for bigger models i just this is such an old beast um let's make him out to here make the wings out big so he's in the one bit what is that the second one in the second one in and you wanted to work on it whoops i need to that better like that push him in come in you get a little bit fiddly it's not too bad it needs to be a bit of a smaller one i think it depends which way they they tilt as well wouldn't it i suppose if you that's not too bad actually yeah it is a an interesting it's an interesting premise this yeah so he's on there you could easily work you know it's, you can easily work on your decals there so if you're doing stuff you know there's a bit of movement there but remember only gravity but putting this on makes it seem to, there's not as much slip in it you know it's not so slidey to do it like that just as something that i thought i'd do and then the only other thing that i'm missing is that maybe there could be a way of storing but i suppose what you would do is is just put them all in here ready for when you want to use them next time so put your your um 
your wings this side, put two there, and then put uh, two here. But anyway, yep, yeah, that's really where we're at with this. It's all pretty good. I think they're only a tenner plus postage, and uh, hopefully it will make your modelling easier. So anyway, I hope this review did help. If you liked the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, but also ring that bell so that you'll be notified on any new future video. Any questions, any feedback, put them in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.